Turning overseas now, Kurdish Peshmerga forces have reportedly captured an American ISIS fighter in Iraq. New video shows him surrendering to troops in northern Iraq. Several sources tell CBS News that Peshmerga troops captured Virginia native Mohammed Jamal Amin. National security correspondent David Martin is with us from the Pentagon now. David, what's the latest? Well, the latest comes from the local uh, Peshmerga commander who is uh, the only person who we are now getting an account from of the circumstances of the capture. And according to that commander, uh, this young man uh, just walked up to their checkpoint and surrendered. But according to the Peshmerga commander, he thought he was at the Turkish border and he was entering uh, from Iraq in and leaving Iraq, entering into Turkey, which raises the very interesting question of was he simply surrendering uh, because he had uh, grown tired with the fight or was he on his way back to the United States perhaps to, uh, to carry out some sort of uh, terrorist mission? David, I had been reading a little bit earlier that said that they thought this individual, um, when he got there, that they, they thought he was a suicide bomber and they started shooting at him. What are your sources telling you about specific tactics used to catch him? Well, again, we're, the, the U.S. doesn't have any independent knowledge uh, other than what's coming from the, uh, the local Peshmerga commander. So uh, the version is that uh, they were worried that he uh, would be, was a suicide bomber, was wearing a vest. Uh, they, they fired at him. He somehow convinced them that he wasn't a threat, and then they, uh, they took him into custody. But all this is in the very early stages of, of investigation. Uh, the U.S. has this, uh, this young man's name. Uh, he turned in his uh, driver's license in an attempt to uh, verify his identity to the Peshmerga. But all that has to be confirmed now. Is that really his uh, driver's license, or did he take it away from, uh, from the real person? So right now, the U.S. cannot even confirm that uh, the person who says he is uh, Amin is, in fact, Amin. Well, that's, I want to ask you, too, because you, you touched on something. We don't know if he surrendered or not, but let's say he did. Wouldn't it be pretty rare for an American ISIS militant to surrender uh, in a capture like this? Well, there are uh, just a relatively small number of uh, American ISIS fighters, the exact numbers not known. Uh, this young man, Amin, apparently was not known uh, to investigators uh, before he turned up. But the estimate is that there are uh, probably a couple dozen at most. So if you estimate that there are 20,000 uh, ISIS fighters, the proportion of Americans is very, very small and, and just very, very few uh, opportunities for Americans to, uh, to give themselves up. And of course, uh, to give yourself up, you, f you first have to get away uh, from ISIS. Right. And uh, ISIS uh, makes That's not examples easy to do. of deserters. No, they make examples of deserters. Right. David Martin, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate sure it. Thing.